Okay, hey guys, Skinny Pigs one here. So I'm going to show you how I do a little Epsom salt foot soak for Kelvin. He has some sore feet. He is a senior. He has arthritis. He doesn't move around a lot. So what I'm finding is he's getting like these callus type sore bottoms on his feet. He tucks his back feet under and kind of stands and walks on the side of them and they're getting these calluses. And then his front paws sometime look a touch red. Now that can easily turn into bumblefoot. It's probably could be considered maybe a first stage of bumblefoot. So what we're doing to stop this from getting worse is he's getting Epsom foot soaks each night. Um, I'm changing his pad and his bed every single day to keep it super clean. And I'm also putting Gorgeous Guineas F&M foot ointment on his feet twice a day. So what I do at night, since that's when I have the most time, is I get a, this little slim container here. It's just a Tupperware container. Get some hot water. Well, obviously not too hot, just warm. And I put it in the bottom of this container, and I also put a cloth in the bottom, because that seems to be more comfortable for him obviously since he has arthritis okay so first i'll set the cloth in and then this is my little container of the epsom salts uh, i'm just going to be honest i don't really measure it out i just sprinkle some along the bottom and then put my hot water i say hot but i just mean my comfortable temperature of water in the bottom just enough so that it's going to cover his feet so there we go so that's good so we're going to go on to the room that's where i set him down in here and we have him soak for about five or ten minutes whatever he seems to be tolerating okay so here we have kelvin in his little foot soak station i just have a little pile of hay on a mat here in front of him just to kind of occupy him while we wait usually do this for about five or ten minutes try to go for ten if you'll sit still for me and the big thing when you are doing these foot soaks with your pig is to make sure you're with them at all times the epsom salts would be terrible if they got that into their eye they could cause an eye injury so you do not want them to be cleaning themselves while they're standing in the soak so what's important is after you're done soaking you take them to the sink and rinse off their feet really well. And after I rinse off his feet, I bring him back out. And then we put the F&M ointment from Gorgeous Guineas on his feet. And he goes back in his cage. Hey, baby. Sometimes he feels like eating hay. Other times he doesn't. Just depends. But I put the cloth in the bottom just so it's more comfortable for him because standing just on the hard plastic surface obviously is not comfortable. And the reason we're doing these soaks is because he's not standing properly as it is. So Calvin is on Medicam for arthritis and I also started him on the Oxbow Joint Support tabs about three or possibly four weeks ago. And he's doing so much better on that, but he still isn't a piggy that moves around a ton. He is six and a half, so he will be seven in September. He is just a senior man. He's still happy little guy. There are days where I really have to keep track of him and make sure that he gets out of bed, gets moving around. Because as soon as he stops moving around much, he does get bloated. And he also sometimes seems a bit dehydrated if he hasn't come out of his bed. So he has his off days. And what I do on his off days is I make him get out of bed. I give him gas relief drops. I take his bed away for a while so that he can't go back into it. Bring his water bottle over to him. Just get him moving around. Get that gas out. Get him drinking and eating again. And he bounces back. I also have Sisapride. There has been a few times where I've had to use that if he's not pooping on his own. So anyway, if you have any questions, just leave them below. But I'm just going to turn this off for now. And then once I've rinsed off his feet, we will be back.
Ooh, cutie. Just a few more minutes. Okay, so we're back with Kelvin. I'm just gonna see if I can show you a bit of what I mean on the bottom of his feet. There is a callus right there, that dark spot. This one is almost lifting off on a whole bunch of places. So just like they usually do, like this keeps being a continuous thing. They'll show up, they'll slowly grow out and they fall off and then it happens again. You'll see on his other foot, it's a lot smaller. It's already fallen off almost all of it, but it will come back. So the thing is like, I just want to keep it from turning into any scabs or infection. So what I do is use, oh, that says the wrong thing. This is what I use, F&M ointment. And what I do is put it on his foot pads and all over the callus. So this happens twice a day. I have used Perfect Paws before, but I just find the f &M ointment sticks a lot better. It just seems thicker and stays on their feet better. So I do all his paws because he had a little callus here, but this one as well is starting to peel off. So there. So now Calvin is going to go back in his cage. And as I said before, I change his pads and his bed every single day now just to keep everything super fresh. If you guys have any questions about it, you can just leave a comment below. See yous!